Alright, hello guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about the ENSO forecast going into the rest of 2019 as it stands right now. Now the ENSO is something that we can kind of forecast long range, but this video is really going to bring up more questions than it does answers. It's just going to be one of those videos, so it's going to be kind of like a, a work in progress video. And we're going to continue to forecast what the ENSO is going to do because we're at the, the peak of our little El Nino right now. Or right near it, you can see this is the, the Jamstech map actually. You can see we're projected. Uh, to be at about uh, a one degree above average Celsius uh, El Nino, and we've been that way since about October. Uh, it really peaked out, you know, in the fall time, and it just stayed kind of that weak El Nino phase. And you can see it's looking to cool down as we head into the spring and summer months, and really should be going according to this model, underneath the zero mark by the time we reach October. And this is a pretty big deal because in a, in a La Nina we usually see a lot more tropical activity than in El Nino, so we'll need to see what kind of pattern uh, we get in as we head into summer. That's going to be really interesting uh, to see play out. Now, the interesting thing about this winter has been we were in an El Nino, but it really, if you look at the pattern and what actually happened, played out like a La Nina winter. Uh, so that's the very interesting thing about this El Nino. So as we head into a possibly head into La Nina territory, will we actually see La Nina conditions? Will we see similar conditions continue, or will it kind of evolve and change? We'll have to see that play out. Now we're gonna, we are going to move on, and this is just according to the National Weather Service here. And you can see this is kind of their probability map. You can see the gray line uh, is the chance of a neutral, and so which means within the 2.5 degree mark, so right there in the middle. The blue is La Nina and the red is El Nino. And you can see the probability of everything kind of, well right now it says we're in neutral, we're really in kind of an El Nino, uh, but it's going to reach to get to a point where it could go either way all three, it could be any of them, by the time we reach fall. But the probability of El Nino continues to go down uh, as we reach fall, and that's the that's the interesting note. Uh, so we'll head towards more chance of something else happening according to this graphic. Now, here's your, this is a lot of models put together. Uh, I, I don't know what you'd really call this, but it's just a, a bunch of models put together. And you can see it, the trend is cooler and they're going to go towards neutral ENSO at least, which is the 2.5 marks, like I said before. Now, here's your CFS forecast, and you can see this one likes to keep it kind of the same. Uh, I don't really see this happening, but it is possible that we just stay in El weak El Nino territory through uh, the summer and fall months of this year. You can see on the right, the CFS does have a really warm bias. It has warm temperatures almost everywhere, which isn't the case. Uh, so we will have to see how accurate that is. Now, one more thing I did want to mention, and I know it's very early to say anything about winter, but winter of 2019 to 2020, if hypothetically we were in a La Nina pattern, uh, this is the typical La Nina pattern. And what I find interesting is this is looks exactly uh, like the pattern we were just in this previous winter. The jet stream really cut inland a little bit, and we saw a lot of those storms track inland and a lot of warmer temperatures along the coast with lack of snow. So that's what I mean when I said we were pretty much in a La Nina pattern for some reason, and there's not really any reason for it. Well, there probably is a reason for it, but, we, you know, nothing that we can see that's, you know, it's a combination of a lot of things. But this is a lot of what the pattern looked like last winter. If we were to head into a La Nina, uh, could we see two similar winters back to back? And I know that's a lot of bad news for a lot of you snow lovers along the coast. Uh, but it is possible that if we head into a La Nina, we could see quite a similar winter to last winter, this winter. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope to see you in the live stream later. I mentioned that earlier in about an hour. I'm going to do a live stream probably around 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'll probably be doing a live stream. So I hope to see you there. Anyway... Also, hope to see you in the next video.